Oh yeah, I made I played this. Oh this is the year I was born. This is the year I didn't play it though. Yeah, that's the year when the game came out. I was just born. Let me just type down the release date. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is that's a change one. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for battle. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. But first, tell me a little about yourself. Now tell me. Now the game is with these. Which, technically, oh. since I'm in trance, you already know which option I'm gonna pick. Cute. You're a girl. Yep. Well, an underage girl, pretty much. I got uh... Man call him. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Butt. You could call him Mr. Ass, then yes. <laughs> Murbutt, Murbutt, Murbutt. <laughs> Mr. Butt, you get the joke, right? Are you gonna... Yeah, that sounds a bit like Murbutt. <laughs> Let's <-a> go. <laughs> Same place. It's still the same place. Hey, wait, don't go out. It's called Professor Oak. It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Lives. Pokemon for your own protection. I know. Here, come with me. The same dialogues. Technically, it's a more improved version of the. Yo, of the old game. I think the game was released in 29th of January. That's the bear start, but that's before a few months. <laughs> oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Derpy. There are three Pokemon here. Haha, -ha, the Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. But now, in my old age, I have these three left. You can have one. Go on, choose. Hey, Grant, no fair. What about me? <sighs> Be patient, Mr. Bud. You can have one, too. <laughs> I can call him- I can call him fucker. <laughs> yeah, I can call him fucker in, in any types. <laughs> Isn't this kinda funny? <laughs> I mean, Pokemon doesn't accept vanity, but you let it type it. Hey, you know, means... you know that I am. <laughs> Wait, are you? Who was here and left? Oh, Red. I'm sorry, what? Oh, Bulbasaur. Yeah, I know that he's gonna choose Bulbasaur. Or rather, I'll take this one. Actually, technically, he's he's... Charmander. <laughs> Mr. It's Bud? a fire dragon. Seriously, am I right that that's hilarious? I named him Mr. Butt. Yes. <laughs> yep. There's so much videos about Pokemon funny names. <laughs> Uh, his Why name is Trash. <laughs> <laughs> you 
balcony. I already learned that, okay? I don't need this question. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm just narrating. I know. Leafy used power. I'd say the same thing. Both Charmander used Scratch. Charmander, Charmander uses Squid. Uses... <gasps> oh, shit! Yeah! Ah, close. A critical hit! Both Charmander has faith! Leafy gained 69 experience. Hey, nice number. <laughs> what? Unbelievable. I picked the wrong token. Derpy got well, you have to upgrade it, boy. You've got some money for win. Poke dollar. Yeah, I know, I know. Forgot about that. Battling other players make your Pokemon become strong. Okay, yeah. I'll make my Pokemon battle to toughen it up. Derpy, Gramps, smell you later. That's just like Mr. Butt. Yeah, that's just kind. You fucking dark. I know, right? Isn't that basically pretty annoying? I know, but it's it's pretty easy, and I still know it. Okay, figure it out. Fingers. Oh. Ah. Did you know that My there's Pokemon a a mod that allows you to play as the creepy black ghost? You know the Marowak ghost from the old You know from You know from Pokemon Tower? Sure, Did you but know I didn't that? recognize that. You, re I didn't you know remember that, that old creepy monster, right? About the haunted cartridge? You gotta be Pokemon. I mean, that's... I'm not even oh. joking, that's actually a thing. There's a game where you literally... Where... Where you can literally have a ghost as your Pokemon. Yo, know, the that Marowak is ghost. creepy. I mean... The port on that is from a, a Super Nintendo system. Or NES. I can still tell. It's a creepy. Creepy's attack miss. Did you use attack? Oh no. Why do I always have such close calls? <laughs> that is so fucking close. Mm, close to death. I should probably go heal myself up, to be honest. What do you think? You can heal your Pokemon, Mr. but... Mr. Butt's house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got him. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Derpy, you should take a quick rest. Does that even help? I'm not yes. sure if it can... Actually, it restores your health. It restores your Pokemon's health. Uh, can I can I look? What? God, that's 
Oh, I didn't know that. Oh. Who needs rest when you can walk through your journey? You go soften up your Pokemon while I wash myself up. Okay. Have fun to your vibe.
Oh, hello. Oh, so you're back. Startled me for a bit. Looks like you're in level 10 with your bulbas on. Yup. You might think America is all interesting but that, but here... I live somewhere else then somewhere else than that. You mean like in Canada or Europe? Because you sound no. like you live in Europe. You know, I don't exactly live in Europe because this is my accent because I don't exactly sound like a European, a Ukrainian, German, Ger German, British, or Fra French, Armenians, Greece, or Russians. But aside from that, just get it out of the way and then so where I are you from, if you don't mind me I'm asking? I'm from Asia. 
What? I'm from Asia. Huh. Southwest. What's the reason why you sound like you have more of an English accent? Well... It's because I sound like this, but... In my own current la I speak in both languages, partly. I speak in my own language, and I speak in English, which I'm kind of a bit fluent. I live in the Philippines, that's the reason why. This place is filled with tribes, and this is tropical. Right, all kinds of tribes. We have a history of ourselves and including that related about the American and the Spanish in our, in our creation to our nation. It might be small but it's filled with corruption apparently as an issue with that. Now sometimes in the people of Philippines they tend to be open-minded, which I find them a bit stupid, I think of. I mean you gotta think of we have all kinds of foods, we have all kinds of sweets and all kinds of stuff. So what do you think? Huh. Never did. Yeah, you never had you never been here. That's the question. You never been to this. This one's interesting, okay? I mean Philippines speak a bit of Mexico or Spanish because yeah. We were we were once inhabited by Spanish before. And that's how our language was created. But we were speaking English in the 80s, 70s, 60s, 50s, 40s, even throughout the years. But until now, we spoke in our original language. Instead of English, we speak in Filipino. Huh. <sighs> What you gonna say? I'm laughing at this. I, you know, I'm gonna, you know, basically, this category is gonna, you know, it's gonna get. Hmm. <laughs> that's when you thought. He's level 11, and that's 7. That's weak. I made mean, such a game having. This. What do I do? Select like easy, hard, or mode? The level of the character is the difficult. I mean, technically, they, there are ways that lower level Pokemon would be able to win, but it's not easy. Yeah. Level 8. Still weak, but very good. Did you notice that what I keep doing every time I get in a battle literally use good old weak speed on them? Did you notice that? Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, I, I didn't see. I thought this was bad. I just noticed like Bulbasaur just tossed two seeds and then it grew up with the when it fell on the ground. It's logic, you know. Pokemon is so interesting. Very very mysterious. I mean, it's it's so interesting. It's so interesting that I find 
that I find Pokemon mysterious and really interesting about its mysteries. Creepy pastas. You get the you get the stuff. Yeah. I listen to a lot of a lot of creepy pastas. Actually. <sighs> awesome. I mean, I've listened to Leonard Town Syndrome. Uh, basically, Do you know this there was one? this one really old, this one creepy pasta that I listened to once. I don't remember the name of it, but it basically revolved around Quarantina being the main antagonist of the story. With, you know, with the whole jump the shark thing where where a Pokemon basically full on just comes to life and, it, and attacks and stuff, and attacks the person in real life. I don't like that. I read about Lost Silver. Yeah, I love. I, yo, know, I actually have. It's a old cricket pasta that was popular before, right? It's you know where someone gets a basically a modded or hacked cartridge of Pokemon Silver, and creepy stuff starts to happen. Oh yeah, that's really twisted. Yeah, it's so twisted. I mean, you get stuff, but it's so creepy. I mean, really, there's even can you, some. Can you imagine there being a whole game that's basically about the end, you know, about the fact that there's no cop? You know, a game that's literally about death and stuff. Oh. Yo, know, that's... I... Isn't that what Lost Silver is supposed to be about? The inability of death? Or whatever? Maybe. You know, because if I remember it, you know, I, if I remember correctly, it was about something very dark. Something like this. <laughs> you get the joke, right? Mm -hmm. There was something you didn't notice about Lavender Town. What? Let me explain this very correctly. When I was navigating to YouTube, then I found this interesting video. While I was typing down like Lavender Town and etc etc. Et but when I clicked to this specific video, okay, you're in Lavender Town. But then the player, the player sees this. There is a mark on the right. Now, you might know the map of Lavender Town, but it looks like it's, it's surrounded. But, there is a secret. A secret room. It's technically, I think it can be only accessed right by the mark. And then when you just, when you just walk into something, it feels like you're inside a inside a what is it called like a hallway you're inside like a tight hallway two spaces but when you walk through it it's like a crossing into something and then when you keep going you get through a door then you get to this odd room then when you keep walking you approach satan like i was no words that that is a secret door like what the fuck how did he manage to get in there now i can possibly tell that it is that that how the video was taken it was taken from a colored version of the pokemon red looks like it's colored again and basically it kills all of your pokemon because when you get to a battle with that guy, it kills your Pokemon entirely. It depletes all of their health. That's it. That's how it's supposed to end.
Do I still think that after a few years right now, do you think Lavender Town still creeps the hell out of you? It's not really the creepiest thing I have ever seen. In fact, I kind of find the song cool. Well, you kind of found it cool, but I find it a bit chilling and cool. That's, that's why I like it so much. I like how basically morbid this song sounds. Yeah, it, it's dark. It reveals a story like it. It looks dark, it's very good, but the whole thing when you listen through the theme, it explains the whole story. Now, when you reach to the end of the song, do you recognize this odd text before? Like right at the end, if you use a different program, when you use a music program um, when you finish writing the song then you reach the end you would reveal this secret message that is inside the theme now the secret to it is that it has a it has a word I'm not sure what it is but I think... Okay, let me lower the volume down because I don't want to hear the high pitch, but... Let me... Let me see what it says. So I found this video that is called... Lavender Town Missing Frequencies Mystery. Wait, Missing Frequencies? Is this the video that yes. I'm thinking of? Yes, I remember there being a video where... It starts off being a normal ladder town, but then it basically turns into the backward version of ladder town. With, uh, with... Now, at the middle of this, you can see the hidden text at the 110 mark. Now it says, Get Out. Not sure what the other part is, but I can't tell. And that which it gives me a chill through that, like it was very dark. Isn't that the same? Technically, isn't it? Doesn't the doesn't oh, it, actually wait, say wait, leave it's now? It. Because I remember the ghost of Memorax ghost saying get saying get out when you encounter it, doesn't it? <laughs> there's another there's another comment that says in an unknown language it says get out faggot what the f oh really <laughs> it says get out faggot <laughs> it said leave now and it